Hello everyone and welcome to Against the Storm, a roguelike cities builder set in a post-apocalyptic fantasy world. Join me today on my way to Scarlet Orchard, where I will attempt to find and excavate all three prehistoric remains buried there, all on the highest difficulty Prestige 20. First one should be close, so let's explore the glades around. We have enough people, so let's start with two woodcutters camps and cut open the dangerous glade southwest. And follow it up by setting an encampment with roads, trading outposts and basic gathering and production. And we can pick our first cornstone. More new villagers or more resources from new villagers. Let's pick generous gifts for the more resources. And the first three orders. Ok, coats or tools. Harpies brought coats, so this one will complete itself. Next. Complete two glade events, or two events and packs of building material. I'm not a fan of packs of goods, so let's take the one without them. And the last one, seven packs of material, or total of 15. Uh, let's take the seven. And we opened our first glade. No luck with archaeology, but we found an open vault. We can use a few building materials and get some ember. We will need it for opening glades. But minus 12 reserve to gatherers. Hmm, I'm sure we will manage. Now just unassign enough people and we are fine. And we can use them in crude workstation. We will need housing and I like to build it behind the ancient heart. So let's free up the space there. The villagers don't really go to their houses. So I like to build them as far from the warehouse as possible. And we should also build 4 decorations for the bonus resolve, few fences and benches will do the job. We also opened a small glade to the north, but still no luck. I really hope we will find the closest one on our own. In the archaeologist's office are some nice perks we could get, instead of just knowing where the buried mysteries are. First storm looks good. We can even cut during it. I just want to wait for the next hard level before accepting the newcomers, as we have the perk that they would bring 40% more. I'm not sure if it will have an effect if they are already waiting, but if I don't check, I can still believe it. Two people or three people? I like to have enough foxes for glade events, so let's go with two foxes. Only they start very quick, so let's hope we will not run out of food. We opened another glade, fallen harpy scientist. We do not have materials to bury them. I'm afraid we will have to rub them. New year, new cornerstone. Supplies from glade events or lower hostility with rain engines. Can we find something nicer? Ooh, copper from trees, nice. And two more orders. Rain engines or clothing. Clothing it is. And the second? Timed order. Don't cut trees for 9 minutes. No thanks. Let's take the one with tools and ancient table. Now let's rob the dead and check the trader. Mm, nothing interesting. I will wait before opening more glades. The harpy's resolve is not nice and I don't want to push it. Let's check what blueprints are available. We do not have access to meat or leather, so none is really amazing. We can make fabric and I do not care about packs of goods. But the incense is nice, we might need it for some events. And a better recipe for incense, sure. The greenhouse is nice, but do we have a source of drizzle water? Not right now, but maybe we will find one. Let's take it as a possible food source. Cookhouse is nice, but we do not have the source of the ingredients now. Herb garden? We need some food source and at least we can make provisions for trading with the herbs. Let's wait for now. Ok, the harpy's resolve is not negative, let's continue exploring. Starting with the two small glades to the south. And we can also build a blight post and the archaeologist office. I want to find the closest on our own, but the other two I tried before and it's too hard, too many options. One glade open, no luck. 
Let's open the second one. We have 15 housed people. We could reach the second hut level. Let's build our own garden. The resolve of foxes does not look good. And I don't have an easy way to improve it. We will have to stop cutting. And newcomers. Two beavers. I will take them. Let's prepare for the next year. We will open the two north glades, hopefully finding the archaeology site. And then we will ask for the location of the rest of them. New cornerstone. Quicker wood cutting. Thank you. Let's see orders. Copper produced in mine, 20 tea or 6 open glades. We will be opening glades, so that one. And 20 packs of materials or trade routes. We can get herb garden, so let's take the trade routes. Now just take the herb garden. And a nice recipe for copper bars. That may come in handy, as we have loads of copper from trees. Check the trader. Nothing we need. Okay, time to explore some more. One glade open, no luck. Second, still nothing. Let's open the dangerous one and then we will ask for the way. And we can also set up some farming. And the dangerous glade is open. Fallen fox scouts, but no luck with archaeology. Nice trade road for copper. We have a load of it. We need to make trade roads worth of at least 9 embers to complete the order. And I don't see any other we could make now. Ok, time to ask for the locations. We can open this one right away. I was so near. Never mind. Newcomers. Four foxes or two and one beaver. Let's take the beaver. And the first discovery is discovered. And we have even the materials for it. Nice. Let's begin. Okay, the resolve is not great. What if we cut less? Not enough. Not cut at all? Still no. Fox firekeeper? We already have. Seems we have to sacrifice some wood. Seems we will survive. Let's repair the granary and build us a forsaken altar. With the new year, we can clear the way to the second archaeology site. And we can get new cornerstone. Old Fedora hut. 50% chance to bring double from events. Nice. Where could we use it? Incense. That could be useful for the events. And of course, new order. 12 harpies? Yeah, I don't think so. Let's check trade route. Another copper trade? Nice. And we are running out of food. Let's buy some from the trader. No food trade? Can we at least gather some? No, it seems we can't. Maybe some catches in the forest? No. Well, at least we finished the first stage of the archaeology discovery. And we can use incense for the next one. That should not be an issue. We can build our smokehouse. Only produce jerky and incense and do not waste coal. And one fox should be enough. And we opened the northern blade. Fishman cave. We do not have the resources now. But we can gather more stone. And we run out of food. Let's start cooking at the granary. It will double our food. From 5 it will make 10. We have enough incense to start the second stage of the south one. The north one needs food. So it will take some time. Newcomers with food, just what we need. Let's build them a small village as a thank you. We 
we can start the fishman cave now. But it will increase the hostility a lot. We could solve it, but we will lose so many villagers. It's better to wait and get just one impatience point. The food situation does not look good. Hopefully, we can survive the storm and buy food in the drizzle. But for that, we will need embers and we run out of provision. So let's build a makeshift post to produce them. Hmm, the resolve isn't good even without woodcutters. Let's see if the altar can help us. Nothing to help with resolve. More villagers definitely not. We will be trading, so the free parts will be nice. How could we improve the resolve? The second heart does not have enough houses. If we build two more, we would get the two resolve. But we do not have any planks. Can we scavenge any logs? Nine here, none here, and we are running out of coal. What just happened? Everyone at the archaeological site died of hunger. Terrible. But at least we can proceed to the final stage. Three died and two left. At least the resolve is better. Oh, it's not. Another left. We will have to sacrifice more coal. Now that's better. Finally, a trader with food. For some reason, jerky is cheaper than any other food. Almost 300 food. That should help us for a time. And a cornerstone. More newcomers or resolve from trade roads. Resolve will be helpful. And the last order. 20 people eating jerky at the same time. For me, it's just herpes and I will not have so many of them. Packs of good it is. Let's solve our fishman problem. We could start excavating on the second side, but we do not have enough people. Oh, newcomers! Foxes and food. We need more foxes and food. So many totems. The first side will be done soon. We have uncovered the smoldering scorpion, giving us the effect long live the queen. For every three reputation points we will get one resolve. More resolve? Nice. Let's put it in our village and start the second one. And with the start of the storm, we can get another pair at the altar. Corrupted decisions increase the chance of double production. How many we have? Hope I will not regret it. Ten percent. That's good. And we have four blueprints. Stamping mill for the pottery. Nice. Plantation. Good. More food from our farm. Goats, easy choice. Trapper camp, we should have enough food, but we don't need a better recipe for fabric. Let's build our plantations and only produce berries. Nice, first stage complete. We need 10 more incense. Good we have the smokehouse ready. And with the start of new year, a trader arrived. Well, with nothing interesting. But we can pick a new cornerstone. Let's see. Hmm. We are not really exploring or generating corruption. Let's reroll. Ooh, another Fedora hat. Nice. I would take it anytime. We can also start the second stage of the second excavating and ask for the location of the last archaeological mystery. Okay, forbidden glade to the east. Let's go. Hmm, we are running out of villagers, even just to fully run granary. 
but after we open the Forbidden Glade, we will need miniatures for the events. Oh, newcomers! 9 villagers and 70 foot? Thank you. Enough villagers to build another heart. What blueprints could we get? Oh, these ones. Let's reroll. Not really an improvement. We could really use a service building for additional perks and level 3 heart. Woodcutters halfway through. Let's check trade roads. Couple trade, nice. And a table trade and sea marrow trade, nice. Now just more provisions and we have one order ready. And the Forbidden Glade is open. Ancient Burial Site. Two orange perks, total of four resolve and five tablets. Okay, what do we need for that? 60 food and incense. That could be done. Let's forbid eating jerky and start it. They will produce the incense eventually. And of course, the last archaeological site. Our beavers will take care of that. And the second stage of the north side is done. What do we need for the last stage? Paint and parts. Easy. The resolve isn't best even without cutting. But maybe Fox Firekeeper will improve it? Yep, we can easily survive. And we won't be needing embers for opening glades anymore. So we can reroll the blueprint. Bathhouse, nice. Let's build it immediately. What? The queen is furious already. In 1 minute and 11 seconds we will complete the second side. Just 3 seconds late to calm the queen. Do we have some sea meadow to improve it? Yeah, we have. And we can of course check the trade. Longer drizzle. Why not? Also, we have a new cornerstone. Bigger trade roads by 40%. We are sending big trade roads. So if they were shorter, we could send more of them. When we speak about that, Let's see the trade road. Nice 34 embers. Second side will be finished in time. The first stage of third discovery is almost done. And ancient burial side will be starting in a minute. And we can immediately proceed to the second one. Newcomers arrived. Let's take more foxes for the discovery side. The second side will be done in seconds. Nice, the queen is calm again. And we got additional cornerstone? Like to choose again? Did we get that from the first one too? Well, I won't mind that. We discovered a sea serpent giving us sunken bones perk. For every 10 copper ore, we will get 10 sea marrow. Not the greatest, but okay. The second stage is going well. Next year, all three will be uncovered. We don't have incense for the last stage. Let's check cages. No, nothing. Can we somehow produce? No, no herbs left. But we can get it from an order. Nice, the last stage started. Let's free up some space around the village, so we have where to put it. Minus 30 resolve? Oh, this drop is hard. Less cutting will do the job. The bathhouse is being built. Let's quickly check what can the altar give us. Nice stuff an hour ago. But now, I will rather hoard my resources. We will be rich. And another newcomers. 29 tools? Well, thank you. We can deliver another order thanks to that. And seems we are run out of pottery. Let's quickly build a stamping mill for that. And we can also build clothier for coat. We need a four and a bit reputation to win. The archaeology will give us two points. We have one order ready, so we might need one and a bit point from resolve. We got a new cornerstone, it's a bit pointless, but let's take 50% more from plantation. 
and we managed to run out of food. This will be interesting. And we have our first deaths. 1 minute 30 seconds to get a reputation. And a third and fourth death. I'm afraid we will not stop at that. The archaeology site will be finished in time, so we can calm her. Ok, the third and last site is done. Let's put it in our village to the other ones. We discovered a sealed spider, giving us the hidden mystery perk. For every two glades, we will get an ancient tablet. This doesn't look great, let me improve that. What do you think? I think this looks better. With that, we can deliver our completed order and leave the Scarlet Orchard. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. I hope you liked my gameplay and see you next time.